Flanders Distillery, it's about that story of Australia and Australian produce. And as the idea for the distillery developed, straight away we knew we want to be here in North Sydney. It's home, it's where we love to live. We're spirits from the north side. Uh, I'm Kyle Ford and I'm a co-founder at Finders Distillery and the head distiller. I'm Georgia Conn, I'm a co-founder at Finders Distillery and I look after our marketing and sales. We packed up and left Australia in November 2016 and we got home in October 2018. We really want to immerse ourselves in the place, in the culture. We just ended up doing brewery tours or distillery tours, seeing how Pisco was made in South America. We went to the heart of bourbon in Kentucky. Japan to a sake barrel ceremony. We're opening a sake barrel and it was a very special moment. We just got so involved in the process and we just loved the craftsmanship and the stories behind these brands. And we sort of just started tossing ideas around how could we get into this industry and bring this back to Australia. We registered the business name and the business as an entity in our little hotel room in Ireland and then we knew this is what we were going to devote all our time to when we returned to Australia. We got home, I completely immersed myself in distilling and started creating recipes. We've just been putting everything into this idea and turning it into a reality. We wanted to create a London dry style gin we wanted it to be complex, but retain the smoothness of the spirit. And we wanted it to highlight local ingredients. Australia is extremely unique. We can create some really exciting, cool products with what we have here. And I guess that leads us to the product that we're launching, which is our Australian dry gin. It's what we're calling our take on a classic, but then it has that little twist. We did a lot of experimenting. We did hundreds of distillates, different botanicals and different combinations of botanicals. Then taste those, mix them together, see how they react with one another, and then designing our processes based on those experiments. The first time I distilled chamomile, as this came off the still, I just knew it had to be in our recipe. That day I got home from work and he was basically waiting by the door to get me to try it. It still makes me smile when I smell it now. But, but it's not overpowering and that's what's so lovely about it. So we've had a few like, little moments like that with the different botanicals that we have used in our recipe. So another one is wattle seed. Uh, it is a beautiful, almost caramel like. This combined with our other native botanical in native gum just creates this really complex mouthfeel. Develops that complexity in the palate. Makes the spirit last longer through the back of the palate. I think we're super excited with how the yeah, it's it's, re it's it's really delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it's, after a year and a half of tasting gin, um, I can I can definitely say Kyle's created an outstanding product, and it's really good. For the location series, we're going to be sourcing botanicals unique to a specific Australian region, highlighting that produce and highlighting the towns and the communities it came from. We want you guys to come into the tasting room in the near future so I can make you a gin and tonic and we can sit down and talk about the product that we've made and the location series that's in the works. Uh, looking forward to everybody coming in and sharing a G&T with us.